In this video we will learn the art of pattern making. Pattern Pattern is the replica of the final object to be made with some modifications. The mold cavity is made with the help of the pattern. Pattern materials Typically, materials used for pattern making are wood, metal or plastics. Wax and plaster of Paris are also used, but only for specialized applications. Mahogany is the most commonly used material for patterns, primarily because it is soft, light, and easy to work. The downside is that it wears out fast, and is prone to moisture attack. Metal patterns are more long-lasting, and do not succumb to moisture, but they are heavier and difficult to repair once damaged. Plastic patterns are used due to their low weight, easier formability, smooth surface, durability, and succumb to moisture. Requirements of a good pattern Requirements of a good pattern include Secure the desired shape and size of the casting Simpline design, for ease of manufacture Cheap, and readily available light in mass and convenient to handle Heavy high strength Types of patterns Variety of patterns are used in casting and the choice depends on the configuration of casting and number of casting required. Single piece pattern Split pattern Fallowboard pattern Copy and drag pattern Match plate pattern Loose piece pattern Sweep pattern Skeleton pattern Split pattern Follow board Match plate Loose piece Sweep Skeleton pattern Pattern design. Location of parting line. Allowances. Shrinkage. Allowance. Draft. To minimize the damage of the mold when the pattern is withdrawn. Is incorporated on all surfaces parallel to the direction of withdrawal. Machining. Allowance. Is added when machined surfaces must be provided on castings. Shake, allowance. Distortion allowance. Shrinkage during solidification and cooling. Starting level of molten metal immediately after pouring. Reduction in level caused by liquid contraction during cooling. Reduction in height and formation of shrinkage cavity caused by solidification. Further reduction in volume due to thermal contraction during cooling of solid metal. Solidification shrinkage Occurs in nearly all metals because the solid phase is a higher density than the liquid phase. Thus, solidification causes a reduction in volume per unit weight of metal. Exception, cast iron with high C content. Graphitization during final stages of freezing causes expansion that counteracts volumetric decrease associated with phase change. Shrinkage allowance. Pattern makers correct for solidification shrinkage and thermal contraction by making the mold cavity oversized. Amount by which mold is made larger relative to final casting size is called pattern shrinkage allowance. Casting dimensions are expressed linearly so allowances are applied accordingly. Shrinkage allowance Draft allowance When the pattern is to be removed from the sand mold, there is a possibility that any leading edges may break off or get damaged in the process. To avoid this, a taper is provided on the pattern so as to facilitate easy removal of the pattern from the mold, and hence reduce damage to edges. 
The taper angle provided is called the draft angle. The value of the draft angle depends upon the complexity of the pattern, the type of molding, height of the surface, etc. Draft provided on the casting 1 to 3 degrees on external surface. Draft allowance. Finish or machining allowance. The surface finish obtained in sand castings is generally poor, and hence in many cases, the cast product is subjected to machining processes like turning or grinding in order to improve the surface finish. During machining processes, some metal is removed from the piece. To compensate for this, a machining allowance should be given in the casting. Finish or machining allowance. Shake allowance. Usually during removal of the pattern from the mold cavity, the pattern is wrapped all around the faces, in order to facilitate easy removal. In this process, the final cavity is enlarged. To compensate for this, the pattern dimensions need to be reduced. There are no standard values for this allowance, as it is heavily dependent on the personnel. This allowance is a negative allowance. And a common way of going around this allowance is to increase the draft allowance. Distortion allowance. During cooling of the mold, stresses developed in the solid metal may induce distortions in the cast. This is more evident when the mold is thinner in width as compared to its length. This could be eliminated by initially distorting the pattern in the opposite direction. Thank you.